this is what I have to put up with all the time whilst I'm trying to record. Fuck my life. Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the European and UK market watch we're going to take a look at things on this side of the pond see how it's all getting on of course we see lots of coverage of the north america market but we like to take a look at things from a slightly different angle so on the screen you will see conversion rates so if this is your first time here you'll be able to work out a rough idea of what those values are and see if you're getting fleeced over in the us or maybe we're getting fleeced over here who knows as always with these videos i apologize in advance if there are any crazy noises i should have seen in the preview of this video i have fucking idiot dogs in here that are very very loud and live in a generally quite noisy house overall i do however try to keep the audio as crisp as possible there will be no more face cam after this apart from in the outro uh, i've had a bit of a technical issue for those of you who aren't aware but let's not delve into that that's all kind of fucking boring so let's get stuck in to the uk european market watch before you go anywhere though you should definitely hit subscribe if you have already Thank you very much. You're a bit of a fucking idiot for coming back. But if this is your first time on the channel, you should definitely make sure you do hit subscribe so you don't miss any more. So the aim today is to have a relatively quick market watch. I know I say that every week, but I really am fucking dying here recording this content. In the UK, we're not used to this much heat, and it's uh, a solid 30-odd degrees. And if it's anything over 15, we all start melting, so we're definitely not built for it. So, like I say, becoming a bit of a sweaty mess, so we don't want to stick around for too long however we do have plenty that i want to get covered today we're going to start off with the numeron stuff because this has been absolutely insane the full-on price on this uh we're going to take a look at some of the pre-release cards for rise of the duelists primarily the dragma ligma dogmatica whatever the hell you want to call them we're going to take a look at a few of those too and a few other bits and bobs in between so let's get started with numeron so numeron network here uh, like I said, the standard for this, if you haven't been on here before, is usually in English, uh, ideally first edition, and anything above good condition. Because what I want to show people is stuff that's at least playable uh, for different markets. But anyway, I'm, I'm waffling on. I'm talking absolute shit. So let's get started with this. So we are seeing these around the 10 euro mark for Numeron Network. This at one point was a 15, 20, even all the way up to 40 plus euro card, even just... A week or two ago and uh <laughs> well it's fell from grace a little bit this is a really really solid price i can tell you now if you haven't played this you should really try it out and for the foreseeable this is going nowhere uh, even if they hit zexel it's just an insane going second combo uh being able to go first and just drawing four cards is just absolutely well, well drawing three in that scenario but d drawing three or four cards potentially on which way you're playing um with uh memories or whatever the fuck it's called that draw one for each x seed number whatever whatever you know the one anyway uh and it's it's just insane it's insane all around and if you haven't you should try it out and you should probably definitely almost certainly pick these up at this kind of price next up we are taking a quick look at numeron calling these are down to one euro 50 a pop uh is at the cheapest about two euros or so further down most of the time if you want to get these a little bit cheaper you can go with german sellers uh german language cards usually the cheapest and their sellers are absolutely wild and love to undercut each other so if you want to see a rush to the bottom go check out the german sellers big shout out to them for making these cards well viable let's just put it that way uh one euro 50 though for english in a minimum closer to two euros across the board the rest of the way again for the whole package you're looking 40 to 50 euros at most if you go on ebay you are going to pay a little bit more as is understandable although you will probably get it a little bit quicker and a little bit safer but that's up to you whether you want to take that punt or not though pretty reasonable prices if you ask me Next up, I wanted to look at Zexel, which is unsurprisingly going through the roof. Uh, it's been as high as €7 Euros most recently, but we are seeing it being able to be bought at closer to 6 although there is only one of those remaining, and if you go beyond that, you're looking 9 and upwards. There is a secondary print of this, which we're going to go ahead and take a look now, just to see what this is coming in at. For those of you who are unsure as to why I'm covering this, this does go very well with the Numeron package. Being able to get into this first turn is absolutely wild. 
Okay, so the John Promo version, eighteen euros fifty at a minimum, and then twenty euros plus, pretty much across the board. Uh, from beyond there, just depending on what rarity you'd prefer. I would say that this is probably the card that's likely to get banned out of all of this. This is way overdue, in my opinion, uh, and it looks like this will probably get it over that line. So do keep that in mind. Although, if you do want to be one of those people that collects uh, banned cards, because that is something you probably should have to consider with this, then probably just go for the slightly better one. And if it ever comes off again, it'll be absolutely insane value. And continuing with that theme, we are looking at Infinitrack Fortress Mega Claps. Uh, mega Claps because it claps motherfuckers left, right, and center. This wasn't seeing quite as much play. In fact, it was very cheap. You can still get these for as cheap as €9 Euros a pop. However, they are rocketing up. If you look on eBay, these are close to €20. Euros a pop. So, something to consider. Will card market catch up? Well, it's always going to be a little bit cheaper, but I can see these continuing to increase. In fact, in the space of about a week, we've seen it pretty much double in price and then some. You can get them again for around 9 to 10, 11, 12 euros, depending on what you want exactly, but fully expect this to go up. And if you haven't got one yet, now is probably a good a time as any if you intend to play the Neumon engine. It's also worth noting that this does have. Some other fringe applicability, let's say. If you want to play something like Zoo or any other XE-based deck, this is a really solid choice. At the moment, though, it's absolutely insane. It's super easy to get into. Something you definitely need if you're going to play the Noom Run engine. Okay, so we wanted to take a quick look at Invocation. Unsurprisingly, it continues to float and rise upwards. I did indicate that I thought that this is what would happen uh, because people are going to try and buy the uh, the supers and they're, well sorry they're going to try and get rid of their supers and the supers will decrease in value and as such you'll see the secrets and the ultis in particular are going to shoot up in price we'll take a quick look at the ultis actually just for the hell of it but battles of legend invocation is slowly creeping up if you haven't got them yet now is probably a good time to consider doing so you could try and cheap out although i don't know what the the shadows in valhalla versions are going for i'm not going to click on that because fuck that we're going to go ahead and look at the ulti okay so the ulti is 94 euros plus if you want it in english absolutely wild and probably will continue to go up being an ots ulti it will probably hold some really good value i would know that i expect this to come down in the long run but these will hold a relatively good value if you want a long-term sell-off Next up, continuing the Battles of Legend Armageddon hype. You're looking at Chaos Emperor, the Dragon of Armageddon. These are €28 Euros at a minimum. This has slowly started to come down. I expect this is probably not going to go much below 25 maybe even 20 if it sees absolutely no play. But there are a lot of decks that are capable of using this. And at the moment, there are a lot of people experimenting with Chaos decks. And of course, we have the new Chaos Synchro coming out, which we'll be covering shortly as well. And, uh, you know, that is one of those things that will probably keep this from falling too quickly. So speaking of the Chaos Dragon that's coming out in the next set, Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon, some sort of pseudo-painful choice for Chaos builds. This is absolutely insane. I am so excited to try and pick one of these up for my Light Sworn builds because I'm a fucking loser and still trying to play Light Sworn in 2020, but there you go. Chaos Ruler is going to be really, really impactful. In fact, anyone who intends to play any kind of Chaos build, this is absolutely insane. I actually think this is really underpriced in my opinion personal opinion and if this becomes meta relevant expect this to go absolutely through the roof currently you can get them for as cheap as 21 euros on pre-order closer to 24 for those of you who are wondering although many of these will only ship out on the date that they uh that they're supposed to be released you may be able to get these earlier from some places because well a lot of places have started getting boxes already and for right or wrong they have started cracking them of course because people want to know ratios, they want to get to that early hype prices, and uh, that's what we're going to see across the market. But on the whole, around 21 to 24 euros, depending on where you buy from. Now, one of the requests I had by Yugi Joe in particular, who wanted to see these, shout out to him. Uh, and if you haven't, you should definitely go out and check out his channel. Uh, he's the one who encouraged me to do these market watches, and uh, they're doing quite well, so thank you very much. In any case, I'll stop licking his arsehole, we'll get stuck in to this for him. So we are looking at Dogmatica also known as Dragma, also known as Ligma, Maximus. Um, these are around €30 Euros a pop at the moment. I expect that these will probably come down because this seems to be one of the one-offs in the builds that I've seen so far, but some of these will definitely creep up in price. Overall, the deck is looking relatively expensive because there's a lot of secrets, but time will tell when we see the ratios when they get pulled. 
Next we have Dogmatica Ecclesia, the Virtuous. Ecclesia being one of the main cards. Of course, that waifu tax on there as well. So 35 euros at a minimum. We know that we've got the Starlight of this coming out as well. So expect that to be absolutely wild in price. 35 euros a pop for something that you do need a playset of. Another Dogmatica card here, Fleur de Lis. Uh, fully expected this to be around this sort of price range and unsurprisingly is in that 30 to 32 mark on the whole. There are some chances in it a little bit higher. Again, one that I expect that could go up, probably not as high as Ecclesia will, uh, but don't expect it to dip down anytime soon. In my opinion, unless of course we see these getting pulled frequently. Titanic clad the Ash Dragon, also known as Bastard in the OCG. I much prefer that name, but here we are with our nice censored version. At 21 euros a pop, and that's what it should be. It would definitely be 10 euros more if it had its original name, which is way fucking cooler in my opinion. But here we are, Titanic clad the Ash Dragon. Bit fucking boring if you ask me, but the deck itself is really cool and one that I'm personally probably going to try and pick up, but there you go. 22 euros a pop. 21 euros a pop, give or take. I expect this one will drop down a little bit when people realise that you don't need a lot of copies. Some builds only run in as few as one. So the demand for this won't be as insane as some of the other cards available. Next we go to Fallen of Albaz. I can't remember the OCG name for this. It's got some weird, like, son of no one or something like that. I don't know, but it's got some fucking crazy name that was really, really cool. And then we get Fallen of Albaz. Uh, 20 euros a pop is the uh, the trend. However, you can get them as cheap as 12 euros a go. Again, one of those cards that I think we probably won't see overly heavily played. Maybe just one or two copies. Um, so not too bad for the price, in my opinion. I can't remember if this is one of the secret rares or not. I think it may be. So expect that this could potentially go up, I guess, if the deck does take off. Uh, but 12 euros a pop is the going rate. And next you have Nadir Servant, one of the most important cards in in the deck and of course we're seeing that a 48 euros a pop absolutely wild and unsurprisingly at this kind of price i do think that this will slowly come down however it is one that i expect not to come down by all that much Next, we'll take a look at one of the Infernoble Arms cards. It is worth noting that all of the other Infernoble stuff is actually buttons. If you want to play this deck, it is super cheap. Sure, there are those few cards from Toon Chaos which have a little bit of price, but pretty much everything else that they would use is relatively cheap or staples. These are as low as €4.74 Euros and 74 a pop. I do think that these will probably float around this area, depending on how much we're seeing them go into circulation. Uh, but again, not a bad price for something that you may need to pick up, especially when you can get the rest of it all really, really cheap. Next, we have Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon, one of the OCG imports that was highly anticipated. And people are really excited about this card. And unsurprisingly, we are seeing it sat around the 20 euro mark. That could quite well go up if people sort of take off with this one. It is giving Pendulum players a lot of excitement. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to see it here now coming into the TCG. The next couple of cards we're going to take a look at are absolutely insane. Potentially some of the most expensive cards in this new set. Outside, of course, of the Starlight Res. Triple Tactics Talent. One of the best cards that is being printed in this set. And unsurprisingly, we are seeing this sat 84 euros for a pre-release price. I do think that this will come down from this. I think this is absolutely wild and overpriced. But people will punt because they want them early. They want them as soon as the set comes out. They want them available for their decks. If you haven't read this card, it is something you should check out. Unfortunately, the image isn't here for me to show you on the screen. But something you should almost certainly be looking at as a possibility of a pickup for your own decks. Next, we have Forbidden Droplet. Another one of these cards that, again, absolutely through the roof. 80 euros a pop. Another card that you should absolutely be reading up on because it is something that you should probably be a little bit concerned about going into the future formats. 80 euros a pop. Again, I do think that this is one that will come down, but then crazier things have happened when you see cards like Lightning Storm that sat there and sat there and sat there and seemed to never come down. Infinite Impermanence was the same before that got reprinted. And we may see similar things happen with some of the cards from this set. And Forbidden Droplet could be one of those cards. Next, this is a personal tip-off of mine. Shadol Schism. Again, another one that if you haven't read it, you absolutely should. I think this is honestly one of the most underappreciated cards being printed in this set. It's going to be really important for people who do want to play that sort of Dragma hybrid builds with the Invoked and that small Shadol package like they do in the OCG. This is a card that you need for it. If you want to play any kind of Shadol engine at all, this is an absolute must-have card in that 
for me. I do think at three euros a pop, these are a really good pickup. Again, I think they could quite easily go up a little bit closer to the 10 mark if the deck takes off as I expect it will. Again, a card that I think you absolutely should be taking a look at, potentially punting on these pre-order prices. So we have four more cards left for this market watch, one of which is Predator Plant Vert Anaconda. I noticed that this has been spiking recently, most likely in anticipation for Dragoon, which is coming out soon. But we are seeing this increase in overall play, just in general. And unsurprisingly, the price is going up gradually. I have been warning people since this set came out and the price on this started to tank. You should have picked it up while it was cheap. This is going to continue to go up, especially once the tins drop and people panic buy and realize that they don't have their copies of this and expect to see it go through the roof and continue to go up. If you already have spare copies, you are in luck because you are going to make some free money out of this, in my opinion. I had a request from my doppelganger, the other Joe Sullivan round here, uh, <laughs> who's familiar with this channel, so probably watching this right now. Uh, 28 cents for your elder entity, Norton. Uh, Norton, you can buy as many as you fucking like. Nobody wants this card anymore. Now, an elder entity worth looking at Elder Entity, four euros or so. This is one of these cards that people are picking up to shove into their extra deck, either because they're playing dra uh, Dragma and want to be able to send it to the grave, or of course so that you can stick it in your own for this very same reason. It gives you a way to play from dumping stuff from your extra deck, which is something you are probably going to have to get used to with Dragma being on the rise. And the final card for today, Mr. Krabs himself, Mr. Jam Jam Cards UK. His own daughter calls him Mr. Krabs and tells you everything you need to know. Give the man a bottle of wine. James Coward, he comes out looking a little bit like this. A point of the Red Lotus, one of the best cards at the moment in the format. Another one of those cards that just blows people out of nowhere. Absolutely broken. I had someone recently argue to me, even more broken than Trap Dust Shoot. I'll let you decide on that. He's a better player than me, a better mind than me, so I'll take his word on it. Although, a point of the Red Lotus, nonetheless, absolutely busted. Seven euros for something in just good condition. If you want something in near mint or higher, you're looking closer to the 10 euro mark. If you don't mind them in foreign, you can get them cheaper again, but they don't go much cheaper than they are now. Again, one of those cards I'd really kind of expected to be reprinted by now, but... I don't know whether Konami want to encourage us to use a card like this. Uh, in my opinion, though, still a really, really solid pickup to consider if it's something that you need and want to play in your deck. So that, ladies and gentlemen, was our European slash UK market watch. Hopefully you've seen everything you wanted to see covered today. Bit of a tongue twister going on there. Thank you very much for checking in, guys. If you've made it this far, that's absolutely insane. You definitely have some sort of problems and you should almost certainly seek help. But thank you in either way for checking in. If you want to see more of these, they are on every single Monday without fail. Even when I'm swipping with fucking dread. Swipping with fucking dread. This is how high it is. I'm talking absolute bollocks. What's wrong with me? In any case, thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe. If this is the kind of content you enjoy. Like I say, every single Monday we have this out. We also have deck profiles, combo tutorials. Most prominently, we've released recently, Jesus Christ, been doing how to play videos. So you'll be able to see plenty of those if that's something you want to check out as well. I'm also always willing to take recommendations on content. So if there is anything that you would like to see or would like to see covered, absolutely reach out and let me know. Thank you very much for checking in, guys. And I will see you in the next one.